Welcome to Practicing Sustainability with Kids. I'm Sandy Bauman, the Sustainability Coordinator here at the UNT Health Science Center at Fort Worth, and here is my daughter. This talk is part of the Virtual Earth Day 2021 on-demand video series, which is part of our Earth Day celebration this year. You can learn more at unthsc.edu slash Earth Day. Current students and employees get a free water bottle for participating. It's hosted by HSC Sustainability, which is part of Facilities Management. I wanted to start with this quote, which is a Native American proverb. We don't inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. When we think of our kids, we think of our future. Sustainability is all about considering future generations and ensuring that they have the same or even better opportunities than what we have today. Like all parents, I want my kids to have better water, cleaner air, and even do more than I was able to do. And so this is one of the things that drives me to practice sustainability with them. Often, students and employees will approach me and say, I do sustainability efforts, but how do I get others to care? I think this is the big question. And I think of it often when I look at things like this. This shows a lot of litter at my neighborhood park, and it seems to be everywhere. So I think one of the ways we get people to care is we start with our own kids. So here are my kids cleaning up litter in our neighborhood park, and they just know that when we go to the park, we pick up litter. So I think like many things in parenting, we lead by example, such as with healthy eating, and sustainability is similar. Now this talk comes a lot from my own personal experiences and what I try to do. I have a master's in environmental toxicology and a huge interest in reducing exposure to harmful chemicals. I have a five and two year old, and so when I'm learning to or so I'm also learning to practice sustainability with them as I go. If there are things that we don't include here, please tag your actions on Facebook or Instagram using hashtag UNTHSC Earth Day. Now also remember sustainability is a journey and there is no judgment. Do what you can and what you have the energy and ability to do. I often find that one step leads to another and I'm constantly adding to my actions every year. So I also wanted to note that there are some items in this presentation that are used as examples and for educational purposes only, as we're not endorsing a particular product. I wanted to quickly mention why we even have a sustainability program here at the Health Science Center. Well, back in 2010, our students voted to see more environmental and sustainability improvements on campus. So since then, we've done things like establish a community garden and subsidize transit passes and many more. You can learn more at unthsc.edu slash sustainability. So in our talk today, we'll cover three areas, babies and toddlers, activities to teach sustainability, and going beyond the basics. When we think of babies and toddlers, we probably think of diapers, and when we think of diapers and sustainability, you may think of cloth diapers. So one thing I wanted to mention here is it doesn't have to be all or nothing. So for my kids, we actually used a combination because that's what worked for us. Now, if you do choose to buy disposable, look at more sustainable products, whether that's FSC certified, that just means that the pulp was harvested more sustainably, and anytime you can reduce the dyes, fragrance, and chemicals, the better. Also, try to use reusable wipes. There are many uses and they're long lasting. So I have wipes that we got with my daughter that's over five years old now and they work great. Now we use them for stuffy noses and for cleaning mouths after dinner time. Also, I wanted to mention baby bottles and feeding. I really recommend you go plastic free to avoid endocrine disrupting chemicals. So we could have a whole talk on this, but really using stainless steel glass, not only is it longer lasting than plastic, but you can reduce those chemical exposure. Now for kids of all ages, one of the best things we can do is ask ourselves, do I need all this stuff? We can get wrapped up in the toys and the clothes and the gadgets, but just consuming less is one of the best ways to practice sustainability with our kids. And we also recommend buying secondhand. We have great consignment stores here in Dallas-Fort Worth, and not only does it save money, but it also reduces your impact. And if your kids are anything like mine, sometimes they'll wear one shirt for every day for months and then choose not to wear a shirt that they've had in their drawer forever. So I don't really feel bad if they choose not to wear something. Also, I wanted to mention that we have a talk with the Center for Transforming Lives called Greening Your Closet on April 22nd at 7 p.m. You can find out more information about it at unthsc.edu slash Earth Day. Also, birthday parties. Just our recommendation is to keep it simple. 
I know that parties are such a big deal and especially with the balloons and the confetti and you know same thing of asking yourself do I need this stuff let's just keep it simple one thing that I try to do at birthday parties is to make the party favors um, either something that they can eat or something that they can draw with and then we have had balloons at our parties but we try to have um, just a few of them now activities to teach sustainability, one of the best things I recommend is cooking together. Here my dad is cooking with our daughter and I love it because you can teach about reusables, about plant-based eating, about where our food comes from, and there are just so many sustainability lessons that can be done in the kitchen, even how we store our food. And I did want to mention that we have a presentation on Cooking 101 on April 21st at noon. Again, you can find out more information at unthsc.edu slash earthday. Also, gardening and sprouting are another way that's been proven to get kids connected with healthy eating and, you know, just the connection to where our food comes from. So if you don't have room for gardening, I would recommend you try sprouting. So sprouting can be done in jars and in apartment settings, and you really just need seeds and water. It's very cost effective, and it's very rewarding because the sprouts sprout really quickly and you can add them to salads or you can you know eat them raw there's all sorts of things and we don't put any resources here but you can definitely look those up on your own also upcycled art projects these are fun projects you can do with your kids and again if you google something you'll find all sorts of projects from you know make repurposing your old boots to repurposing these spoons here in the middle and even you know making a bag out of a t-shirt there's all sorts of things that you can do with your kids another activity to teach sustainability is teaching kids to pick up litter now you can check for city and local events. They often make it really easy by giving you free supplies such as bags and gloves and a t-shirt even. Down below you'll see the Cowtown Great American Cleanup that happens this March. There's also the Trinity River Trash Bash and other events throughout the year. You can definitely pick up trash anytime. Also nature walks are a great way to teach kids about sustainability and the connection to the environment. On the picture on the right, you'll see my daughter holding up leaves, and we were just taking a walk around the neighborhood and found these beautiful leaves this fall. And in that middle picture shows my husband with our two kids showing them a frog. And again, it's just another fun activity to connect them to the environment. Kids often learn about recycling, and we should be teaching them how to recycle right. Recycling is a global market that takes many moving pieces to work correctly. In fact, we have a talk called Recycling 101 and Practicing the Other R's if you're interested in learning more. Avoid wish cycling. This is when you stick something in the recycling bin hoping it gets recycled, but you're not really sure. This can actually make it more difficult for recyclers to recycle things and can contaminate whole loads. So read signs and check city's websites for more about what goes in the bin. And save resources. We teach our kids not to run water when they're brushing their teeth, but we also need to teach them to save energy, conserve our resources. So make it a game and be really creative how you do this. And books are always a great way to teach kids about sustainability. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a book called The Top 10 Ways to Save the Earth. I like to find what works, what my kids are interested in, such as the ocean, and then buy books about that and tailor our conversations around sustainability. The last part of our talk will be about going beyond the normal and being intentional in how we practice sustainability with our kids. The first one is to explain our actions, whether we're picking up litter or choosing stainless steel over plastic, explain why you're doing this. They'll probably ask you why anyway. Also give them experiences. You can take them to a local farmer's market and explain how food was grown locally there. You can take them by a landfill or recycling center and explain those processes and discuss global issues with them. Whether it's other cultures, pesticides, climate change, there are many different topics that open up the conversation to sustainability. And the last one we have to include is practicing kindness. So whether it's volunteering or helping a neighbor, this helps kids realize we are all in this together. We have one planet that we're sharing everything with, so please practice kindness. This concludes our talk on practicing sustainability with kids. If you're interested in learning more about HSC sustainability, please visit us at unthsc.edu slash sustainability. You can also follow and like us on Instagram and Facebook at sustainable UNTHSC. And if you have anything to add to the conversation, use hashtag UNTHSC Earth Day.
Thanks for watching.